In this video, we are going to discuss about ActiveX EXE applications in Visual Basics. This lecture will cover what is standard EXE application and what are the areas of using in standard EXE and ActiveX EXE application and features of ActiveX EXE. So what is standard EXE application? The standard EXE application is one that is created using standard EXE project. It is the most widely used in project type using VB6. So the standard EXE application is widely we are uh, using mostly. Uh, why? Because it is uh, easy to create an application using standard EXE. Uh, this is a basic application. We can create an, a standalone application through the standard EXE applications. Okay. So standard EXE application is normally the most widely used among the available project types in the Visual Basics. Standalone programs have .exe file extension. That means standalone applications we here we are using .exe extension for saving our files. So where we are using the standalone applications? For example, calculators, text editors, and other similar applications, we are using the standard EXE applications. So the standard EXE application is normally used when you want to develop a standalone application. So that means the calculators and text editors, these are standalone applications. So we can use where we can use, means uh, we can use it in a desktop applications, right? Next, what is ActiveX EXE application? We know that what is standard EXE application. Here now we have to know that what is ActiveX EXE applications. These are widely used in conjunction with standard EXE application. So the ActiveX EXE uh, is connected with standard EXE. It will be uh, used in widely. There are three types of widely uh, used for ActiveX projects. Those are ActiveX EXE, ActiveX DLL, and ActiveX controls. So these are ActiveX EXE applications, okay, projects. First, ActiveX EXE. So what is ActiveX EXE means? It's not like a standalone EXE file. An ActiveX EXE file is designed to work as an OLE server. So it's it. It will work like an OLE server, which is nothing more than the program designed to share information with another program. So OLE server always uh, work like that. Uh, it will share the information with another program. So as like that, the ActiveX EXE file will be work like that. that, like that. It has an .exe file extension. So ActiveX EXE also having the extension is .exe. Next, ActiveX DLL. So ActiveX DLL files are not meant to be used by themselves. So ActiveX DLL, like, it's like an EXE file, but it's not meant to be used by the themselves. Instead of these types of files contain subprograms. So in this DLL, uh, it will contain subprograms designed to function as building blocks when creating a standalone programs. So when we are creating a standalone programs, uh, it will construct it will design some sub programs to build the those blocks and it has .dll file extension next activex control so it's not like a dll or activex exe file and activex control file usually provides both sub programs and user interface that you can reuse in another program so in uh, activex dll activex exe we can't able to uh, reuse those programs but here activex control we can use that sub programs and uh, we can use um, uh, user interface in another time so it has an dot ocx file extension so these these are these are activex projects widely used activex exe and the activex dll and the activex control okay next futures of activex exe so it has a single class time and a form that is displayed in when uh, activex exe is invoked as a standalone application so the future is when ActiveX EXE is uh, invoked a standalone application, 
The form will be hidden when ActiveX EXE is invoked from the client applications because if we are using uh, ActiveX EXE form uh, from the server side means the form will be uh, hidden okay hidden from the client applications so we have to invoke the ActiveX uh, ActiveX from the client applications. The form of ActiveX EXE is used to display running digital clock using class a uh, time class of ActiveX EXE. Next, the client application as usual uh, uses an object of time class to invoke methods such as the get time and set time. So, if uh, we are using uh, time uh, class method means we, we need to invoke those methods uh, that those are uh, get time and set time okay and then the startup object of activex is sub main which is procedures in code module main procedure determines whether the form is in the server is to be displayed or not depending upon the whether server is invoked as standalone application or invoked by the client application. So that means the startup object of ActiveX EXE is a sub main function. Okay, so uh, this is a procedure in code module. So procedures mean it's a piece of code, right? So uh, this is a procedure in a code module. So main procedures will be determines uh, whether the form in server in the form server is to be displayed are not depending upon whether the server is invoked as standalone application or invoked by the client application. So this is futures of ActiveX EXE in Visual Basics. Thank you.